welcome to our show. My name is Larry Taff, and if, like me, you have a passion for field sports, I truly hope you will enjoy our show. I personally have been involved in field sports all my life. I have been writing about field sports in magazines in Ireland, England and in America and I am known for my involvement in field trialing spaniels in particular. The aim of our show is simple. We are here to promote field sports and to show you the fantastic opportunities that are available to the enthusiast. Today we are in Drumbanagher Estate which is five minutes from Newry in County Down, Northern Ireland. I have with me Brian Byrne. Brian is the shoot manager, gamekeeper on the Drumbanagher Estate. Brian, for you, what makes a successful day for your day shooting here? Laurie, for me a successful day is high sporting pheasants, a relaxed atmosphere and a capable team of guns. Excellent. Um, Connor, you as the Dear manager on the estate would have a knowledge of the history of the estate. Could you let, let us know uh, a little bit about it, please? Yeah, Dunbanagher is a 650-acre walled estate. Uh, it's the historic seat of the Close family. Uh, the ground in Dunbanagher is a mix of uh, established woodland, open pasture land and bog land. And the estate has an excellent topography for showing high-driven birds. Right, let's get going. Well, Larry, right. welcome back to Drumbonagher. Uh, great day of shooting ahead of us. A uh, very strong team of guns here today. These guys have shot Scotland, England, and some even as far as Europe. A uh, bit of a breeze getting up, so birds should fly well here today, and hopefully birds will match the expertise of the guns we have. Mm -hmm. So I'll speak to you later on, but a minute ago now, we'll get the pegs through for the start of the day. Okay. <laughs> Okay guns, welcome once again to Dunbonagher Estate. Usual rules apply. The drives will start with me blowing the horn and finishing again with the same. There's plenty of birds and they're high enough so pick your birds and enjoy your day. I have a number of years experience as a shoot manager, gamekeeper and I would like to think that I would be able to give you or show you what a successful day on a shoot is all about. Today I'm looking at four different aspects of this particular shoot. The bird quality, which is the number of birds and their, their presentation height. The topography of the ground, is it easy to show birds or is it difficult? Um, the organization from uh, the front of the line and the beating point of view. And at the end of the day, the atmosphere that prevailed through the day did the guns enjoy it? Was it a successful day from their perspective? Things are, things are moving around me now, so it's about time we, we, we went off, so let's go. Okay, this is the first drive of the day, it's called um, Bells Hill. Um, the indication is that the birds will fly um, from right to left here, um, most, of the, most of the birds will fly across the face of the woodland. Uh, everybody's in place, guns are in place. John Agnew, um, the gun here in front of me, well known, well known to field sports people in relation to his field trialing uh, expertise as a handler and as a host for field trials. Okay, um, we're looking, the drive has just started, the first cock bird has flushed. Uh, looks like um, if the remainder of the birds fly at that level or higher, this is going to be a really exciting drive. Wow, the birds are coming high and fast here, and this going here in front is after taking a, a magnificent high cock bird. It's killed its stone dead in front, really, really, really good. look like they're not moving very fast, but by jingo they are shifting. Um, the 
wind is behind these birds and it's driving them on and they are moving deceptively fast. Um, that can be seen by this gun in front of me who is an excellent shot and he's just behind one or two of the birds. When they're coming high out of the trees, the wind is catching them and they're, they're, it's, it's propelling them, like this bird coming here now. That was a fast high bird and you could see he was just slightly behind it. So um, it's, it's, uh, birds are a quality. Okay, that drive, first drive is over. That was a warm up drive, just to give the guns a, uh, an idea, I suggest, of what, uh, what's ahead of them. I'm just looking at the, the layout of the pegs here. You have double banking here for, uh, for a good reason, obviously. Your birds are going to come straight across this way. Is this the idea? The birds, the beaters will come in from the right and from the left. Okay. The pincer movement. Okay. And the birds will be flushed out from the trees at okay. the top of the hill. Okay. Okay. We used to drive them from the game crop, but we found that when one would raise out of the game crop, two or three would go and they would keep each other down. Oh, I understand. Once the flight from the driven out from the trees, they tend to get the height. Okay. This is the highest point on the estate. I see For some that. reason, the birds just tend to get up and go on. Go higher even go again. Go higher okay. even again. And you're, you're, you have uh, guns in front of guns, obviously because you have birds coming across this, this level and then coming across the second level of guns. Yes, and the other thing we have, early in the season, this is a duck drive. Okay. We feed the ducks up into the wood and then flush them out of the wood for the duck drive in September time. Okay, okay. So now that we're into the pheasant shooting, a lot of the ducks are still coming up for feeding along with the pheasants, okay, so, so we just so, shoot them along. So this will be an exciting, this will it be will, an exciting drive here. It will be very exciting. But, uh, you're, Plenty uh, of birds in but, the air. But look, yeah, time. but looking at this, uh, I would suggest that there will be birds in the air. Just sorting the guns out here now, Brad. I would say, I'll blow the horn now and that will get us started. You can start them off, the boys are way up to the drive. On their pegs, I'm going to blow the horn. That's your indication for the drive. The keeper knows now his guns are in place so he can start to drive at any time. I don't wear. Uh, look at this here, right? Unbelievable. You see where I put one in up through his tail? Oh boy, that was a good shot. That was a good shot. I, I often feel that this estate was laid out when planted by a very clever man. It was certainly planted for high birds. Yeah, I've been fortunate enough to shoot quite a number of estates over the years and I would still say that this is the most consistent. Look, look at the height of this bird coming now, look, can you see it? I reckon today there's out of the team of guns I'm privileged to be shooting with some of the best shots uh, in, in, the, in the country without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, great shot, Wilson. Anyone else for soup? Well, it's going. Go away. I hope it's not going to fly all over the place. Environmentally friendly about here. Just at the right time, mate. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Biscuits on the other side, Ian. Thank you very much. Biscuits over at the far side, Larry. Right, get, the, get to them before Henry gets to them. I've watched them in the past. Is your name on, Henry? You know you have a special mug. Yeah, 
Yes, well, this is the kennel wood named after the kennels that are at the far end of it belonging to the Murray Foxhounds. I'm just going to have to blow the horn here. The okay, all guns, guns are all in place. Ready. Tell me, um, how big is your estate? There's about five and a half hundred acres inside the wall. Okay, okay. And we only shoot the drives, it's inside the wall. The estate has all the shooting rights around the estate. Okay, so you're well protected. So well protected sense. that way. And within that area, how many how many um, drives are you using throughout the year? There's probably about 12 drives in total, including a couple of good duck drives that we'll have. There's different drives up there where there's different style of birds would come out. There's some of the drives just the birds wouldn't be that high. But so you can so you can actually cater for different levels of shooter. Than, yes, than that back. would be one of the best things about it. Okay. That you can if you get guns that just wouldn't be as strong as the team we have here today. That we can produce birds off drives that they can manage. There's nothing as bad as putting birds over guns that they can't shoot. So from um, a commercial point of view, you can accommodate really everybody. We can accommodate everything. The best of the shooting will probably be in this these low pegs from four to seven. Okay. But we'll see how it goes. I've yeah, I've uh, was here last year. We had a fantastic day. We shot I think 440 birds, something like that. Beautiful weather, very unlike today. Um, uh, and I've been here. This is probably about the fourth or fifth time I've shot here, and it's always enjoyable. The birds are, are good. We normally do five or six drives. Uh, we're well looked after. Refreshments after the second drive. Good lunch. Um, the ground is fantastic. Um, it's a, it's one of the best shoots in um, in Ireland. I mean, I really enjoy coming here. It's always good. Once we get the dinner over, we'll go back out again. When they come back up into the shooting lodge, then we get the Irish coffees. And oh dear. More, more banter and no, more crack. No <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> Irish coffees. <laughs> And they stay on for a bit of crack and bother, and the guns will stay on and that. So, you know, it's not just a matter of once it's over, pack oh, up way, and go. Yeah, yeah. You can't hear everything that's going on, but I can. <laughs> here's, a, here's a nice little bird coming out. Coming a hen right bird, right yes, right I'm getting right. up. There's a good height. Oh, and he's down. Well shot, yes. this one. And here we go again. Yeah. Yeah. Superb. Yes, right there. definitely right there. On our left. Like I said at the start, really they're well a very, very good team of really, guns. Really well taken. You always get a good board when you're reloading. Uh, that's, that's normally the Is case. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not for a nice board. Look, look, look. Ah, oh, yes. That was an exceptional, an exceptional shot. Another board hard hit there. Kill this bird, stone dead, very, very, very high. Poetry in motion. We have more birds like, coming like. Another. Um, we're on our way to uh, take part in the beating of the next drive. We want to see the shoot from the other side, the dogs working, the birds flushing and, and how the keeper produces, produces the birds for the guns. Uh, so far on the previous three drives, um, this has been excellent. Birds flying very high and an even spread across the guns. So we're now going to go into the background and see exactly what happens from behind. Brian has, has built up a good team of beaters over this last 10 years. It's a long time to have, a long time to have people with him and they're obviously very, very good. Well, it's like everything else. There's there's young young uh, men coming back coming into the game. A lot of the beaters would bring their sons on occasions and get them introduced to, to it. Excellent. Uh, what we have apart from the beaters, a lot of the boys, the, pick, the picking up team especially, quite a number of them are uh, field trial enthusiasts uh, and some very very successful. We have Alan Roundtree picks up on the estate, as does Nigel Carvel. Both. Uh, Winners of the Irish Championship, and Alan himself has uh, won the English Championship on a number of occasions. Okay, so. I'm just looking at this area here. 
Um, the guns are going to be below us. If you look, that's where your guns are going to be. So exactly how how are the birds going to be produced over the guns from here? But what what has happened further back in that back game crop? The boys have been the beaters have been coming up through that. It's good eight nine hundred yards back. They're coming up through the through the wood. They will stop at the point of the game crop uh, at the moan. There's another team of beaters on the far side of the moan. They'll, they'll do a pincher movement okay. with boys coming from the back wall, from that back wood. Mm -hmm. And what they like to do is sort of corral the birds and push them all from a three three positions. From three positions, mm -hmm. hopefully down to the point of the, the point of the game crop, just just over that dough box and over the guns. Okay, excellent. He's, he's gone into this place. He's, he certainly there's birds going. He certainly do this birds coming nice now. Just below drop, drop down below Quentin there. Okay, lads. Uh, that's a nice bird there. Drop. Yeah. That gun taken. Yeah. Sit down. Hi John, my name's Harry. Hi, how are you? I'm your picker up for today. This is the fifth drive of, of the day and I'm looking forward to seeing some good shooting and hopefully some good retrieves. Sorry. These are my two dogs. This, his pet name is Thumper. He's an Irish field trial champion. He has Represent Ireland on several occasions. This is Nelson. Nelson is only a young dog. He's 18 months old and he's here today for experience to gain steadiness and educate him as regards uh, field trailing and shooting. So look forward to Perfect. some good retrieves. Sit, sit, sit. Thump over. Get over, get over. Steady, steady. Good boy. Good boy, come on. Come on, Nelson, Nelson. Good boy, come on, come on. This is a young dog, he's showing his inexperience. Good boy. No, back. Back. Get on! Get on! Get on! Steady there, steady, steady, steady. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy.
This is the bulge drive, probably the best drive at Drumbanagher. It's always the last one, so you know, keep the best to last. Um, we'd expect to get quite a few birds here, but you know, you just don't know from one week to the other. Sometimes they're, they're in the drive and sometimes they're not. This is, this, is, this is probably the best shoot in Northern Ireland. It's a good day for shooting, overcast, windy. Some great birds. Here's some more ducks coming. They're a bit rangy, I think. We're going to fly out all right. Hold on, there's something up now. Here we go, David. Oh, that's a stormer. Well, we've just come to the end of a fantastic day at Trumbanagher Estate. As we said earlier in the morning, we would look at the shoot under four headings. Bird quality. Bird quality was superlative. The keeper can produce birds for the different types of guns that come to the shoot. If you want really high birds, you can get really high birds. If you want shootable birds, you can get shootable birds. That organization, that part of the organization was par excellence. The, the second criteria was the location of the ground. The ground is superb, it's undulating, the topography is super beautiful. Rolling, rolling hills, clearly identified by a valley which runs through the chute. Absolutely perfect for driven birds. No difficulty in producing birds over the guns. The organisation from a front, of, front line organisation, the chute captain Rodney is able to, at a moment's notice, change the guns to suit the circumstances on the day. The keeper produces the bird from behind the line. An excellent team of beaters can stop and start as he can communicate with Rodney. Absolutely perfect. And the finale and the most important part of the day, was it enjoyable? Was the atmosphere good? Yes, it was. I knew some of the guns from, from some number of years ago, and I can honestly say, Without fear or favour, they had a wonderful day. The atmosphere was excellent. Everybody was on friendly terms. It was a wonderful day in Drum Banner.
<laughs> That's known as pegging. Uh -huh.